Love Australia's most successful entrepreneurs do business deals with everyday Aussies with great ideas. Shark Tank has put some of the most innovative products on shelves in Australia. And one of our much loved sharks is joining us now. Please welcome Naomi Simpson. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Red Shark. Yeah. Gee, it's been a big season of Shark Tank, it hasn't it? It's been a Huge. massive season. We've had a theme, though. Yeah. Y you know, every year we kind of get a, a batch or everybody's really trying to do something, and this year it is all about the environment. You know, there's been lots of people pitching and they're saying, I'm going to save the planet. Isn't that interesting? Mm. And what I really like the advice that um, Steve likes to give. Oh, do you? Um, oh, oh. <laughs> Thanks, that's I always right. love it when oh, I come on and people cold. go, oh, my favourite shark yeah. is Steve. No, no, no. My parents came on set, they go, oh, hi, Steve, we love you. You're our <laughs> favourite. I say, really? And you two, have, you two have been quite argy-bargy with well. each other, which is brilliant. I love Naomi. How hilarious was that? Um, but actually, you've said it as well, that people go into business thinking that they're running a charity, but no. they're actually not. And the advice they get time and time again is do well in your business, and once you do really, really well, then you can start oh, donating. I just simply charity. say if you haven't got the means, you can't change the world. Mm. Make a profit, then use that money for however you like, that's and then good, you have control over it. And, and that's important. Now, Naomi, um, <clears throat> speaking of Steve, <clears throat> yes, in tonight's sure. finale, something that has never actually happened before on Shark Tank happens. You and Steve do a... Uh, that's a that's deal, right. by the way. That's <laughs> not God. what you think. God, that's I. repulsive. You do, you no, do, we get up there. You think it's the first time you've ever I don't gone actually in. get out of my chair and feel like biffing him. But, um, what is it with you two? So, the, th the thing is, we just see the world differently. Mm. I have a great deal of respect for him, mm. but he doesn't like being interrupted. And, if it, you know, if I can't get my point across, then, you know, I'm just sitting there. So he, he likes to... And he likes to be in there first and have his opinion. And then is if he I'm, a mansplainer? Mm, a little like that. Is, is he Joe Hildman? There's nothing, <laughs> wrong. Oh. There's nothing wrong with a bit of mansplaining between friends. What made you decide maybe to? Not, maybe not, but there's not one way to grow a business. There's many ways yes. to grow a business and we see things differently, which is why you need the five of us, because we all have a different view. Mm. But he and I, yes, we definitely rub each other up the wrong way. And But it's a very interesting show. Well, how will you, so you, you go working together then? Well, you're assuming that we do. But <laughs> there is a particular, it's the last pitch of the last season and these young men walk in, Coupe, and they're talking to millennials and both Steve and I see something very, very different in them and he's oh. wanting to jump in on my deal. And I'm oh, so he on. did a deal with you, not the other way. He, he thinks to he wants to do a deal with me. You'll have to and watch then the season finale tonight, Jodie. Oh. Yeah. 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 Now, That's... Crooked Compass was a, a pitch that, that didn't get picked up on Shark Tank last year but you did say you would mentor them and true to your word. Uh, we, we do. It's a, I think people are surprised that we do follow through on, on the detail. If we say we're going to, you know, like Rap Barrow, we all helped him. We always do. But um, Lisa, we met her. I met her on set and she was the last pitch of last season, season three. Absolutely loved her business. She came into the Big Red Group and to Red Balloon to talk about her experience with being on Shark Tank. And she said, Naomi, I really would love you to come on an experience. And I said, sure. And and she said, and I said, what's, you know, what's your newest, what's your greatest? And she said, visiting the reindeer people in Mongolia. Oh. And then for 10 months, I was in a whole world of fear wow. about getting, you know, not just three flights, but um, then getting in these four wheel drives and uh, wow. then on horses to meet this nomadic tribe. And we were there for... <laughs> We were there for a very um, a a short time, but a fascinating insight. And it really actually connected me with my purpose of experiences. And uh, I was, you know, I was only gone for two weeks. I thought I'd been gone for two months. Yeah, Life changing. It's such it a really different was. world. It's such into. a different world. And there's nothing like really understanding somebody's business. Yeah. And so, so do, passionate. You, do you think that from that score then that people underestimate like going on a show like Shark Tank and not getting the deal, 
but the opportunity but there is this opportunity it's an incredible still. opportunity not only the hour or more that they're on set and they mm. get all of that advice which you know Sarah yep. and some of them follow it and some of them don't um, but also the mentoring and the contacts and we are very supportive our role in life is to grow small businesses and help them mm. and we do that Hannah is there, and it's a lot of time and a lot of energy and I think people completely underestimate you know when master chef off they go and they go into their business to do things mm. no no I've still got businesses from season yeah. one season two season three and now season yeah. four that I'm all nurturing in fact I'm hosting a table at the um, maps the Melbourne accelerator program of my shark tank businesses in Melbourne tomorrow night you know I'm just going to bring them all nice. together uh, so well like the, the capitalist earth mother yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I'll get them all yeah. in a group a little community hug now the, uh, the grand finale of season four of shark tank is on tonight at 9 p.m. on both the 10 and win networks Naomi Simpson's always joy having you on our Thank panel. Thank you so much. Thank you.